Howdy soldiers, Sergeant Fury here real quick. If you're having problems with Watch Dogs Legion and it's crashing, the reason is is because none of the Ubisoft games ever put themselves in the inbound and outbound rules. Alright, so you want to come here and click on that little thing that looks like a little magnifying glass. Start typing control panel, right? Open up this, this is your old control panel app. Go to network, right? Security. Right, go to Windows Defender, okay. Come over here on the side where it says Advanced Settings, all right, and you can close all this other crap out. Now, the problem is I already put it in the inbound so I can show you what's going on, right? But if you come down here, see where it says Watch Dogs Legions, you need to have a UDP and a TCP, right? Inbound, outbound, right? The problem is, I just put those in because they weren't there. That's why my game keeps crashing. Guaranteed. I, I will guarantee you that's that's what's causing the problem. See, if you come down here, see, nothing. I actually had to put all these Uplay services in because it, the U, I spelled it wrong, but the Uplay Connect is a new one. The Uplay Game Connect is a new one. Their core service. So I had to put all these stupid things in to get my NAT to go from moderate back to open again because my NAT got messed up too. So yeah, they're really notorious. So what you want to do is come over here, click on new rule, right? It's going to be for a program. You're going to come over here, right? We have to come to Uplay, right? So come down here to your Uplay folder. Your Ubisoft, I should say. Games, right? Over here, games, right? Watch Dogs Legion. All right, then you got to come to Ben. Okay, there you go. Watch Dogs Legion. Okay, you can say open, path, you can say next. Wow. Yep. You can just name it whatever you want. We already know what it is. That's the easiest way to do it. You don't have to do it for all of them. And there you go. So now you got it for your inbound and outbound. You can do it for port if you want. It's the same thing. Same thing. Works just as good doing it with the program, but it'll this way it'll cover your ass. But that's yeah, that's what your problem is right there. I'm going to put the game in too. Doesn't have the game, so I'm going to go ahead and put the game in there too. That's your battle eye. You don't have to worry about that. Unless you're having some issue, you can put that in there if you want the battle eye. If it keeps crashing, mine seems to be fairly stable. So that's it. You're going to put that in there and that'll um, get you going. Plus, like I said, make sure you have all your launchers and all that crap in there. You play all that because those guys are idiots. And that's it.
then you should be able to start up your game and not have any issues. Because that was one of the first things I noticed with the game. I was like, oh, well, with every one of their games going all the way back to the crew, I've been doing these guides for your firewall and crap since 2015 now with all their games. So yeah, they're notorious for not putting the exceptions in the firewall for inbound and outbound for the program or the TCP UDP. So that will probably solve most of you guys as they're having connection issues, whether you're behind a VPN or not, doesn't matter. And set your cookies, you're gonna have to do this freaking crap every time because they got this thing, stu stupid thing all screwed up. But that should rectify the problem for you with why you're why you're having so much trouble connecting. Just to let you know, okay? So other than that, till I see everyone here later on, on Twitch. I'm gonna be over on Twitch for quite a while here, man. And we're gonna give those people opportunity to catch up. So it's very easy. Thomas Lee and everybody else, just go to your browser, go to Twitch TV, twitch.tv, right? Dot com forward slash USA Sergeant Nick Fury. Okay, so I see everyone then. As always, this is Sergeant Fury. Addy, soldiers.